Set in modern-day New York, Tony Cade Bambara's short story Gorilla My Love, 1971, follows Hazel, a young African-American girl, reflecting on two significant moments from her past that reveal the unreliability of the adults around her. As Hazel explores her feelings about adult dishonesty and disrespect toward children, she undergoes a coming-of-age journey that teaches her an important lesson about trust. Originally published in the 1971 issue of Red Book magazine under the title I Ain't Playin', I'm Hurtin', Gorilla My Love later became the title of Bambara's first short story collection. The Saturday Review praised it as one of the best portrayals of black life in recent memory, while the Chicago Daily News described Bambara's writing as captivating and charming. Narrated from Hazel's first-person perspective, the story begins in contemporary New York City, where she is riding in a car with her granddaddy Vale, her uncle Hunka Bubba, and her younger brother, Baby Jason. The family is returning from a pecan picking trip in the South, with Granddaddy Vale driving and Hazel serving as the scout in the passenger seat. Hunka Bubba and Baby Jason sit in the back with containers of dirty pecans. Hazel is frustrated with Uncle Bubba for announcing his upcoming marriage and his decision to revert to his birth name, Jefferson Winston Vale. Despite Hunka Bubba's excitement about his fiancée, Hazel loses interest and chooses to look at a photo of her instead, feeling unimpressed by both the picture and her uncle's enthusiasm. When Hazel spots a girl in front of a movie theater, it triggers a memory, as she's always been a movie freak. She recalls an incident from years earlier when she, Baby Jason, and their older brother, Big Brood, went to the movies on Easter Sunday. It's clear they often visit the theaters, knowing which ones are closest to home and what's playing. Since they've already seen all the Three Stooges films, they decide to go to the Washington Theater on Amsterdam Avenue to watch a movie titled Gorilla, My Love. Excited, they buy bags of potato chips, opting for the brand that makes the loudest crunch when crumpled. However, when they settle in to watch Gorilla, My Love, they're stunned to see a different film, King of Kings, about Jesus, start instead. Furious, Hazel and her brothers erupt in a tantrum, yelling, booing, stomping, and carrying on, only to be silenced by Thunderbuns, the strictest usher in the theater. As Hazel reluctantly watches King of Kings, she finds the portrayal of Jesus so weak that she doubts he could survive in her lively family. After the film, a Bugs Bunny cartoon they've already seen begins to play, further infuriating Hazel. She confronts the theater manager, demanding a refund for false advertising. Like many adults, he dismisses her concerns, treating her as a child and refusing her request. Big Brood doesn't support her either. Frustrated, Hazel storms into the manager's office, steals a box of matches from the desk, and sets fire beneath the candy machine in the lobby. As a result, the theater is closed for a week. Hazel attributes her bold actions to her mother, who once stood up to Hazel's school teachers for mistreating her and other black students. When Hazel's father finds out what she's done, he threatens to punish her with his belt. However, Hazel explains her side, insisting that if the theater promised to show Gorilla My Love, it should deliver on that promise. She reminds her parents that she was raised to keep her word and emphasizes the importance of trustworthiness. Her father listens, ultimately agreeing with her and admiring her integrity so much that he puts his belt back around his waist. Back in the present, Hazel recalls another instance of feeling let down by adults. Just as the theater broke its promise, she feels betrayed by Hunka Bubba for going back on a promise he made to her as a child. She remembers a time when he looked after her and her brothers during a snowstorm and told her she was the cutest thing that ever walked the earth, vowing to marry her when she grew up. Now that Hunka Bubba is engaged to someone else, Hazel feels deeply hurt and distrustful of adults. When Hazel finishes her story, Granddaddy Vale and Hunka Bubba laugh, revealing he was just teasing. This only deepens Hazel's sense of betrayal, and she continues to wail in sorrow. In the end, Hazel concludes that some children must stick together or be lost forever because adults can't be trusted. On the ride home, she calls her uncle a lion dog as baby Jason starts to cry. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.